Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is the day in life of doing my GCSE. So I have one exam today. I have a maths calculator paper and this is just a short video of a typical day in my life of doing exams. Sorry for the delay in uploading this, I got quite caught up. Um, but so in the morning I wake up around 6, 6.30. I don't really wake up any earlier because of exams. I still go to school my normal time. Um, and then I have like 20 minutes to spare in the morning in school just to do some last minute revision, which tends to be just looking through flashcards. I'm having a green smoothie today with like random stuff in it. I think I have like random fruit that's been left over lying in the fridge for like a day. Um, and I quickly just put that together and drank that for breakfast. Um, then I leave for school and I've got this. I have these mass flashcards. And what I've done is beforehand, I made a pile of all of the ones that are a bit tricky, ones I'm not really sure on, and have them at the front so they're easy to um, see and use. After my exam, I kind of went, I didn't go shopping. I went for a walk and I saw a book that I really wanted, that psychology one and these plastic um, wallet things that I thought would be perfect for postal brownies but I think I'm getting a bit too excited and I have exams right now it was boiling like hot it was really hot so I got some orange juice from this vending machine which was fresh and it tasted really really good I think it was three pounds um but I say it was worth it even though it wasn't massive then I went to Tesco to get some checkered potato because we didn't have any at home and I was craving some and I thought because it's a pack of four I can have them on other days when I finish um school early because it's a really easy lunch to make so I got those out and I tried baking them in the air fryer instead of the oven because normally it takes forever in the oven and I got some cheese and beans out to have with it as well and because I was hungry I tried to take a shortcut um meanwhile while that was baking I sorted out all of my stuff upstairs because my room is always a mess the night before from like revision and stuff so my table needed to be cleared as well as my bed and the resources that I'd taken to school that morning to revise for my maths exam which went reasonably fine it wasn't bad there were a lot of hard questions in it at the end but it was an okay paper and then I do my favorite part of the day which is ticking off today um I thought to do the previous day but there's barely any more exams left and it's so exciting so as you can see here I found that the middle did not cook properly it was still frozen so I had to kind of defrost it in the microwave and then put it back so I topped it with some beans and cheese and some bits on the side and watched some tv while having lunch I realize now that this video has made it seem that I have exams but I'm doing a ton of other stuff trust me this did not take long I think I'd sat down at a reasonable time so after having lunch and buying my lunch and everything I started doing the biology revision so I was going through the topic of homeostasis because it's the longest one and I always procrastinate with it because it's quite like there's some hard concepts in there including how the eye works and the eye did come up in the paper luckily it wasn't a six marker so I went through my mind map which I've made kind of over the years and what I do is I kind of reteach it to myself and go through it and because I put it in a plastic wallet I can use a whiteboard pen and annotate directly on it then I did some practice questions so I kind of cover each section look at that section in a textbook as well and then do some questions in the CGP book practice book and past paper questions from online then afterwards I did some geography revision for paper two which was the UK's physical landscape I think um well, I read through my condensed notes. I'd printed all those out and made them into a booklet. And I kind of do these as I finish each topic in school. And I go, I went through that with highlighting the main information and I did some past papers. So by this, I, com I didn't completely do it off my head. I had the answers up, but that's why I have the correct things in my head because I have the exam quite soon. Then I did some biology flashcards right before going to bed on some topics I didn't do all of them I did one topic I think um and I just went through those so this is a quick thing for tomorrow because I don't have any exams so I'm home for the whole day what I do is I make a to-do list of everything I want to do give a rough time of when it should be done and then I also open the tabs and then close them so when I go to my history the next day I can just click that and open all the tabs and see my list and try and give a more structure to my day and this was a day in the life of doing my GCSE exam I did a lot more work than that I just felt like if I have too much screen time of just doing work in this video then it'll get a bit boring because and the to-do list doesn't always work so some things might get delayed in the list but it's way better than not making a to-do list for the day and kind of just preparing for failure because there's no structure but yeah that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe